Okay, here's what we got for progress so far. Let's try with the lights on first here. Okay. Let's see if uh, I can get it to sort of approximate what it looks like in real life versus what it looks like on the camera. Sort of like that. Maybe a little closer. What I've got it doing right now is reading the current time and picking the correct number of, you know, out of a series of bitmaps that I've provided it with and rendering the time. Uh, it then saves that to a WAV file. Um, what this is is basically just you know, uh, a loop of all the WAV files sort of sandwiched together. But right now, it's generating these, uh, each one of these sound samples, each one of these pictures, uh, as it goes at roughly the rate of maybe about one every four or five seconds. Eventually, it will come up with a complete set. Um, you know, the idea being, just let this thing run for a while, and uh, <laughs> it will eventually, you know, build the uh, corresponding, corresponding sound sample for every possible combination of time. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's actually pretty close to what it looks like in real life. So let me get that in focus. Maybe a little better. There's a little bit of like glitter you see off the top there. That's just uh, that's easily fixable. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Let's see the intensity up a little bit. I reused a bit of the code that I wrote for Square Pusher, and that it renders all the stuff um, in Plow mode or Boostrophedonic. Um, that result is a pretty good looking picture for uh, 48 kilohertz, as you can see. Anyway, that's what we've got so far. More later.